relationships are not perfect and i guarantee you you will never find a perfect relationship because we date imperfect people and we are imperfect there comes a time in life where you feel enough is enough i have tried my best things can't just work you find the more you stay in a relationship, the more you get heartbroken, the more you get depressed, the more you think of committing suicide, the more you look at the world as the smallest place ever. You know, it is so easy to break a relationship, very difficult to break a marriage covenant. In today's video, we are going to look at when to quit, when to give up, when to let go in a relationship you are welcome to my youtube channel marriage tips with the very first reason is when your partner the one you're dating introduces or wed another person you know sometimes you'll be there thinking that you're in a relationship with someone you are doing a lot a lot of people are aware that you're openly dating someone out of nowhere out of the blue you get invitation cards or you hear rumors, or you see it on TV, or on social media. You see them posting photos when they are in a marriage or in a wedding, introduction ceremonies with another person. You get so scared and you feel like, I have to fight for what belongs to me. It's in a lot of strength, a lot of effort, because you feel like, I should fight for my love. I can't let him go just like that. I can't let her go. And so you go in a battle with a co-wife or you know another man. My dear, relationships do not work like politics. You know, politics, you can lose in this side and then you come in pain and then you win. You know, relationships are not like that. When you be in a part in a battle with another person who is already married, you are going to hurt yourself more than ever. Come on, my sister, you deserve better. You deserve a person who is not going to compete for you. You deserve a person who you're not going to fight battles for. You deserve a person who will love and cherish you and be proud to introduce you to his family to church and to god you don't deserve a person who publicly denies you because a person who waits or introduces or engages another person is publicly denying that that they are in a relationship with you so they are not worth a fight they are not worth a try they are not even worth a second chance move on with your life it's a time to give up and say it is over between us we weren't meant to no. be. second reason when the pain outweighs the benefit when you weigh your relationship and all you see is pain all you see is sorrow struggle it's a very good sign for you to let go to just give up because if you haven't happy in just a relationship, how are you going to make it work in marriage? Because relationships, I imagine, are like the very first part of the movie. Sometimes they are so exciting. Sometimes they are so... And in marriage, we get to see the real character of your partner. You know, if you aren't happy just in a relationship... Trust me, you will not be happy even in marriage. If this is a time you caught him cheating, the time you're fighting, the time he's abusing you emotionally, physically, the time he's disrespecting you, the time she is not respecting you, trust me, you won't get that either in marriage. If you sit down and you evaluate your relationship and you find that the pain is more than the joy that you have in your life, it's time to give up because everyone wants to be happy. No one would choose to be in a hell. You still have a mind to think. You still look beautiful. You still look handsome. You can find someone who will make the rest of your life if you out if the pain is outweighing the joy it's another sign that you let go third reason when the relationship gets toxic this is a time when you feel you are emotionally abused 
you are not res respecting you fight every time you you know you don't have a time when you speak well and feel like you're in love everything around you is a red flag this is a guy who is always lying she's a person who is always lying to you never picks your phone calls never respects you embarrasses you always is not proud of you everything around your relationship is toxic it's another sign that you should say bye to this person. You deserve better. You know, sometimes when you are in love, our feelings, you know, deceive us so much. You feel like he can change. She can change. Now, you've been dating for four years, three years, two years. How long does this person need to change? If he really cannot change for your sake, it's a good reason for you to give up on them. Yeah, I'm not being rude here. I know what it means to be in a toxic marriage with a mind that for better, for worse, I cannot quit. Better quit a relationship. Better quit 100 relationships than you being in suicidal thoughts, being in I can't get ashamed in public. How will they hear I have divorced? The Bible says do not divorce. God hates divorce. You find that everything around you is just regret. Before regretting, quit that relationship. Number four. Number four is mine. When you are struggling to love that person. Now, love is not by force. Love should be something that you give out of the abundance in your heart. Now, if you find that you have been dating this person long enough, but you can't just love him. You can't just love her. All things that you see on them are so annoying. Like you can't even defend them in public. You can't do anything good. You find you're struggling to love. Why are you forcing yourself to eat food that you don't like? It's like you are you're forcing yourself to eat something that is not your favorite. Just because you're hungry? No. Marriage will not work like that. When you find you're struggling to love someone, you sit down, you think you can't even be bothered about if they don't call you, if he's not replying. You don't even think about him or her <laughs> during the day. You have other people you're comparing him with. You see everything around him is, you know, he's ugly. He's not so attractive to you. You know, she's, why are you struggling? Give up. Look for someone that your heart will love. Because if you love that person, if you're a woman, it will be easy for you to respect and submit to him. You know, and if you're a guy, it will be easy for you to care and take responsibility because you love them. It is hard to give someone that you don't love. Love and giving are broad sisters. If you don't love someone, you won't give them your time, your money, your attention. You will always find it difficult. Why should you put yourself in a prison then? Quit it. The very last thing I will give you is if there is no communication. You know, communication is very, very important in marriage. If you find you no longer talk, you hardly call one another. Even when you meet, it's question and answer time. No romantic communication. No time for one another. It's a time to give up. Doesn't matter how long you have been dating. That relationship may not lead into a good and happy marriage. And that is a joy. And that is a dream of every human being. We have seen so many men and women and you know, depreciate, lose a lot of weight, you know, get so depressed because they really didn't give attention to some of the red flags during dating. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. I believe you have found something so interesting. And if you have anything that you would like to share in this video, please write it down in the comment section. If you haven't yet subscribed, it's a kind request that you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and every time I upload a video, you will be among the first people to know. Keep watching. I love you so much. Bye.